Hello guys, Drew here from Lone Fox, and today we are focusing on beds. Because a couple years back, I actually did a video where I styled a bed four different ways, and it's one of my most viewed videos here on the channel. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of do an updated version because I will definitely tell you that my bed styling and some of the tips and tricks, things I'm going to be sharing with you on pattern mixing, color, everything relating to making a bed has changed over the years. Of course, some things have definitely stayed, but there are some things I've picked up I want to share with you guys, and just new ways and styles I feel like beds are constantly evolving into. So why don't we just go ahead and dive on into our first look. For this first bed, we are going to be recreating the one that I actually have on my bed since I've redone my room, and I love the look of this one. It's actually a great way to kind of highlight any of those vintage textiles or quilts or pieces of fabric or bedding pieces that are a little bit more rough and itchy that you don't really love because it's more of like a topper to our bed. So I started off with a simple sheet set from Casa Luna. This is just like a linen one. I love it so much. I've had it for years now, actually. And then on top of that, I'm actually adding a king size duvet with this kind of like amber colored linen duvet cover over top and once I have this on the reason I'm using a king too is because it really hangs over all the sides nicely if you've wondered how designers got that extra kind of fluffy duvet look they're definitely using a king or multiple duvets in the duvet cover now here is the star of the show everyone asks where I got this from and sadly I can't link it because it's actually an antique textile from France I got this from Olive Atelier and it is a little rough it's a little itchy I'm not gonna lie it's could be a wall hanging it could be a rug but I love it on my bed and the thing is, is I have it at the end of the bed on top of my duvet cover and then I pulled back the duvet a little bit to kind of encase that top section too so that way your skin's not really ever touching that area but you really get that high impact from that piece of vintage fabric and in the back I'm layering two sets of Helix's dream pillows I love their pillows they are so fluffy they look so perfectly styled on a bed at all times and they're great to sleep with as well so that's a huge plus and then just a little little pillow in the center. This one's from Pearson Ward just to kind of finish it out and add a little bit more pattern. But I love the way that this highlights any vintage textile, maybe an old quilt. But I really feel like this stretches the possibilities with bedding so much because there's so much vintage that is just incredible that you can add as a topper to your bed. But of course, the foundation to any incredible bed is the mattress. And today's video is kindly sponsored by Helix because I have been using and had this exact Helix mattress you see here for years, probably like a little over four years now. Marie has one, my parents have one, and Helix just is a no brainer when it comes to purchasing a mattress. They offer a sleep quiz because I feel like going out and like laying on a bunch of different mattresses, it still doesn't give you an idea of what you wanna sleep on long term. And Helix has a great sleep quiz that actually allows you to take it, pairs you up with a mattress, and you have a 100-day sleep trial. So if it's something that you're not really loving after 100 days, they'll come right to your house and pick it up. And the reason this is great is because it actually gets shipped to you in a box, which is so convenient. I love that about Helix. It arrives on your doorstep in a box. You bring it in, and it literally turns itself into the most incredible, thickest, fluffiest mattress you are going to sleep on. Plus, Helix also includes a 10-year warranty, which is incredible, and they offer different financing options and flexible payment plans because mattresses are a large purchase so having that financing is really nice. I think I've unboxed over 10 mattresses from them at this point and every single one has been top-notch perfect. And if you're in the market for a new mattress definitely take advantage of my offer for you guys. You can get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows using my link which is helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott. It's also at the top of the description box below but let's go ahead and dive on into some more bed styling. <laughs> For our second bed, I wanted to do one that you have probably seen from your favorite designers all over Instagram. If you have a designer that's more on the minimal side, I feel like this bedding style has definitely been in their kind of realm lately, and I love it. I think it's so beautiful. It looks great. It photographs great as well. So I actually started off with the same sheet set, and then on top of that, I actually like to add a really thin duvet. This is just a queen size duvet from Target, a really thin one. To be honest, I'm someone that likes a little bit of substance on top of me while I'm sleeping. Like, I don't just want a sheet 
sheet. I'm so sorry. I see so many beds like this and I just think to myself like it's just one piece of fabric but this at least has a little bit of cushion in between and the bed cover is actually from Cultivar Goods and that is really what creates the look of this because this is made for this style. You really do probably need something like a bed cover. That's what you would actually look up and this one I borrowed from my friend Ethan. He actually has a YouTube channel here. Um, I will link it below for you guys. He's great and I borrowed this. He has some really cool bedding. He always has the best bedding so I borrowed this for the video and I think it looks stunning on the bed. It's like a white oversized linen bed cover and I added two simple pillows in the back just tucked the fabric under and around the pillows and that's what really gives it the look of kind of that designer effortless simple casual feel. A bolster pillow on the back and then just a waffle cloth kind of blanket on the front that was from Target and in the end clips I actually ended up styling it with a different bolster pillow and shooting it just to give you a little variety but I think this looks so beautiful and this really in the end clips you can kind of see the style of this bedding and how it feels a little bit more effortless, kind of casual and lived in, but I will say it is a little bit more challenging to achieve that perfect look because you really want this bedding to lay nicely, but once you have it in place, I can also kind of see it staying put, so I don't think it would be too much to like fix it up each day. Here we are at bed number three, and I really wanted to focus on pattern play in this one, and I kind of have like a rule of thumb when I do bedding and pattern play, and that is that I'm going to do one large scale pattern, which as you can see is going to be our quilt here. I'm going to do a small scale pattern and a stripe, and then from there you can kind of incorporate anything else that you want. So I started off with just the same stripes sheet set. I honestly used it for all four beds because it was just easiest and it's my favorite sheet set ever. And then I added an amber interiors quilt on top. That was my little splurge piece last year. I love it though. It is so stunning. And because I want those layers to show, I actually folded the duvet in half and added it to the end of the bed. That way when you get into bed at the end of the day, you would just essentially kind of pull up the duvet that's folded over, get under everything, and you're good to go. So on the back here, I actually did two pillows on either side just to layer it up. And I did the cream in the back and then the stripes in the front just to bring the stripe a little bit more forward again. We're adding two large scale patterns in front, but we are still missing our small scale pattern which is actually going to be coming from the pillow that we're going to be adding right in front of that which is a little checkerboard pillow which incorporates a little bit of a geometric small scale pattern. Winston had to come take a look and of course he loved it and this is how this bed turned out. Something I realized when I filmed this is that I wish I did have some more pattern duvet options because I probably would have popped a patterned small scale duvet cover on the duvet at the end of the bed just to incorporate even more pattern to this and that is how I would have rounded out this bed. I think it looks stunning though overall and I hope that pattern mixing tip with the stripes, a large scale and a small scale can kind of come in handy when playing around with patterns. last bed style, I really wanted to play around with a neutral bed because I know a lot of people love neutral, calming beds. I do too as well, but I wanted to make it really interesting and share with you how you can kind of amplify just monotone beds a little bit. So I actually started off first with the sheet set here. Again, a simple stripe. It almost reads as a solid because of how tone on tone it is. And I'm also having kind of the fold over section at the top be a little bit more casual and not as structured as like the sheets tucked in and stuff like that. So once that is added, I'm going to be popping our pillows up at the top section as well. And I have these ruffly pillow covers, which again adds a little bit more texture and dimension to a neutral bed. So these are from Lulu and Georgia. I'll link them for you guys. They're so cool and they come in a bunch of different sizes too. So you can even get Euro sizes like that. And I ended up layering in front of those, actually these darker brown ones, because I felt like the bed was still going super flat with the monochrome look. So I just wanted to add a little bit of contrast. So varying tones is another way to just create a little bit more interest in your bed. If you like one color, just vary the tone slightly and it will create a bit of dimension and just a bit more visual interest to your bed space. And I was really loving the direction of how everything was looking, but I did step back and realize the top of the bed was just a little bit too heavy, like the bottom was quite light. So I wanted to add a bit more texture down here just to kind of even it all out. So I added on top of it a blanket. It's just a simple ivory blanket. And whenever I add blankets on beds like this and I want a little bit of texture, I just go through and kind of just crumple it a little 
little bit like that and you go on either side and you kind of pull them almost so it creates this ruched just lived in feel and that is kind of the base of the bed towards the bottom i added on top of it this leather throw pillow which i kind of feel like totally rounds out the juxtaposition of creating an interesting monotone bed the leather mixed with the ruffles mixed with kind of the gauzy material on the top blanket it's just a really fun mix of textures that makes a simple color palette really fun and interesting how to style a bed like a designer. I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite ways that I've recently been styling beds, not claiming to be a professional designer. I just wanted to share with you a couple different tips and tricks, and you can even pull and kind of extract things from different beds in this video, put them together to make your very own bed. But I hope that you learned a styling tip or two, or maybe even 17 from this video. And if you did, let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite bed. And of course, everything I did share in this video will also be linked in the description box, so definitely check out there if you want to see any of the bedding that you saw. I've been working on a makeover on the side, but it's just been taking me a little longer to get through it. So hopefully that will be coming out shortly on the channel. And do not forget to subscribe for more videos here on the Lone Fox YouTube channel. And I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Bye!